Welcome back to the Pink Floyd Collectors YouTube channel. So we're going through the wall live performance version. This is a kind of pre-event script. And this was uh, offered to Graham Fleming for his eyes only. In part one, we covered up to Young Lust and that's where we carry on. Up to this point, the lighting should be a low key. Blushes and tight spots on people's faces. At the start of Young Lust, the lightning should all brighten to suggest a move away from narrative towards performance. The beach boys and girls can start to move about if they are still visible. The bank should lurch forward. The cherry pickers appear for the very first time, maybe decorated with rows of flashing light bulbs a la fairground. Tawdry use of the screen would be good. Lots of dirty girls, the stripper from Dark Side of the Moon, maybe. General note, let's cannibalise anything useful from our old shows. At the end of Young Lust, the band retreats again during Long Vamp Out, with the guitar solo wandering around the wall. As the bands fade in the quad, the walking away from the gig sound effects occur, followed by the ringing sounds and a playlist of Dear John telephone song conversation can be heard. By this point, the wall will have been built across the stage to form an arch through which we can retreat. Maybe the arch could be pyramid shaped. Uh, then we have the lyrics to Young Lust. And the lyrics to One of My Turns. The player should continue all the way to the motel until we cut out to the group's monologue on One of My Turns. During the monologue, an extreme close-up of the girl's lips should fill the screen, synced exactly to the speech. The band is playing mainly from behind the line of the wall. Though still slightly visible, they are slowly being bricked in. Don't leave me now. During the song, all the inflatables are visibly breathing in time with the pneumatic click track. Roger stands isolated, lit intimately at the front of the stage. The inflatables, as before, are huge, shadowy figures looming in the background. Then the lyrics to Don't Leave Me Now and Empty Spaces. Backs to the wall. Some sort of wide-angle slides projection system should be hidden under the hood at the front of the stage. Four projectors covering the entire width of the wall and controlled backstage or in the stairwell. A matte graduating slideshow can be developed where slide, I would include one picture, slide two, two pictures, etc. Each slide fills in one more square carrying one of the images mentioned in the list. Old band pictures, old pictures of Sid, bear lit, pictures of places we've done tours, pictures of cars, pictures of guitars, pictures of TVs, all that kind of stuff until the entire wall is filled with images from the past. Throughout another brick free, the images remain on the wall, but during Goodbye Crawl World, they slowly fade and a bright light source backlights Roger seated or maybe even lying down singing Goodbye Crawl World. Behind the last remaining hole in the wall, the last brick is placed over the last line of the song. Then we then have the lyrics to another brick free and goodbye cruel world. So I'll make that the end of part two. We'll carry on with the interval here, a few ideas. Um, hopefully you're enjoying it so far. Come back for part three.